Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. In a previous video I made, I showed you how to use the service from iPawn Store uh, for TVOS. Uh, this is a website that you actually go to and you sign up, I think it's like $10 a year. And as long as you can keep paying the $10 a year, you're able to uh, get your apps uh, co-signed or they pretty much give you a version of software third-party software that is signed by them so that you can install it on your Apple TV uh, we're talking about the Apple TV 4 so last time I showed you how you can easily side load uh, using the iFunbox uh, that's an app that you install on your Mac here's iFunbox and basically if you plug in your Apple TV with the USB-C in the back of the Apple TV to a USB available so great, on your computer. Let me shut that off. Uh, on your computer, uh, it will show up in the list on iPhone box, and you can uh, just download, sign and download the app by clicking on whatever app you want down here. It will get signed, and you'll download it to your downloads folder. And you can see that I have these two new ones. And in today's video, is about popcorn time as well as having a Mamie I think that's how you say it Mamie uh, emulator so that you can play uh, you know retro games uh, and mainly I want to talk to you about popcorn time and it's awesome uh, what popcorn time is is a group of uh, I guess developers or lovers of movies that actually uh, feed you torrents uh, that you can uh, you know, when you click on a movie or a TV show, these torrents uh, usually come in different parts. And what happens with Popcorn Time, it's the software that allows you to take all these RARs and watch them in real time instead of waiting for the entire download to come and then putting it all together by unrawing them and then making them into a movie and then playing them. What happens is you play them on the fly. So you start to play part one, and as you're watching part uh, one of the RAR, part one RAR, uh, part two RAR loads in the background, and then your movie just continues on and on until you watch the entire movie, and then the temporary file uh, gets erased uh, from your Apple TV in this case, and uh, you go on to the next movie. So let me show you uh, the new additions to the iPorn store uh, for TVOS. So we pretty much click here as long as you're signed in and you're using the correct certificate. I use Kryptonite. That's what they told me to use in the email. Uh, we download both of these. So now I have both of them in my downloads folder. And I also have, uh, I'm going to put the link in the description of a um, way to download about 2,270 2, ROMs for the Mamie uh, app. And when you use the Mamie app, this one here, and you download it like I did here, um, you might have to throw it into Xcode uh, in order for you to take all those ROMs and put them on the Mamie. Uh, you make a folder called ROMs. And before you used to have to have a sample of the uh, ROMs, and then you would have to take the actual full version and put it with in place of the sample. Uh, but now with this, you're basically going to make a ROMs folder, and you're going to just chuck all the 2270 uh, ROMs right into that folder. And I'm going to make a separate video about that next. But I want to talk to you more about popcorn time. So let me quickly show you how to load these up. So now uh, I'm going to put the link in the description for those ROMs, uh, the over 2,000 ROMs. And I'm also going to put the description for iPawn Store so you can join up and uh, check it out yourself. It's better than using uh, Xcode from scratch, GitHub, putting in a repository and then building it with your credentials in Xcode and your Apple ID and all that stuff. You're better off just getting it signed off. Uh, buy op iPawn store and then just load it up onto your Apple TV. So now we're going to open up iFunbox 
and hopefully that annoying video doesn't play. Uh, but if it does, I apologize. So basically, you have your Apple TV connected to your computer, and you hit install app here. And we're going to go into our downloads folder, and here's the two IPAs. And I'm going to hit open, and they're basically going to install on my Apple TV. So let me show you my Apple TV now. I'm going to go down to the bottom, and you can see Popcorn Time just installed. And here's Mimi. So now we have both of these here. Now, one question uh, of a uh, warning, one warning that I want to give you is when you play Popcorn Time in your house, in with your router, um, you got to worry about your ISP, your internet service provider, your cable company, actually sending you a strike because if you're download, you're using popcorn time and their torrents, but they're public torrents, you're going to get in trouble. So what I did was, and you can watch this in the video that I made. I made a three-part video about uh, setting up a second router in your home, daisy chained to your first router, and that special router you install the DDWRT, and you'll be able to install an open VPN onto that router. So whenever I go to the top here in my computer, and I have three selections here. I have a Netgear, let me shut this off because this is gonna start playing that video, um, that advertisement. So here we have Netgear VPN 5, that's my five gigahertz, and then I have Netgear VPN, that's my 2.5 gigahertz. And then I have my Airport Extreme. So the setup I have is my cable modem, my Airport Extreme, and then further out I have the Netgear with the two bands. So anytime I connect my computer or my Apple TV to my Netgear VPN, my um, external IP address uh, gets reported to my ISP, but they have no idea who I am because that uh, external IP belongs to some server in another country or another part of the state and it's not associated with my account so if I was to connect here to my Netgear VPN of course my connection is going to be much slower it's not practical for this video uh, I would say it's about 50% slower but when I connect to my airport extreme I get the full speeds the 30 uh, gigabytes uh, download and all that stuff so normally when I use popcorn time I try to connect to my VPN router but like I said for this video I'll take a chance and hopefully there's no detective or snooper that's watching what I'm doing with popcorn time and as for demonstration purposes I will connect to my airport extreme but normally I suggest you definitely uh, use an open VPN router you can buy them already configured uh, it's not hard to do you grab one of your old routers and you throw it on watch the three-part video that I have on my channel for open VPN and uh, a third router and uh, the reason you have to do it like this with the two routers is because the uh, Apple TV firmware doesn't have any spot where you can put on an open VPN uh, it's you just can't do it there's no thing in the settings that says hey plug in your uh, you know private internet uh, access account uh, right open VPN right into your Apple TV it won't let you do it so let's get back now and now I'm full speed and unprotected from snoopers but I will show you uh, popcorn time and then from here on in I will use my open VPN so here's popcorn time and when you first open up, it gives you this message saying that there's a new uh, version available. So this version may not be the latest one, but I'm sure the site, the iPawn store site will update. But for now, you can only, in, there's two sections, there's movie and TV. And you can only use 480p in the TV section. But the movie section, you'll be able to use 480p, 720, 1080p, and even 3D. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So we're just going to hit OK here. Now here are the two sections. Now of course you have movies. If you're a big movie fan like I am, uh, you're going to see it load up like this. Now 
what this is is a catalog of all the movies they have and uh, these are all torrents believe it or not they're a link that shows say a torrent comes in multiple parts so if I was to click one of these movies right now uh, let's go up to here and just uh, hit something benign so there's less likely of a snooper we'll hit this one here and now it's going to show you uh, pretty much a synopsis uh, it's like the VLC app uh, and they give you some suggestions too which is pretty cool uh, you can watch the trailers you get your little synopsis if you swipe down from the top once you're playing the movie I'll show you that in a second so you can add it to a watch list too so it will play one after another now we hit play and it gives you the choice of 720p or 1080 for the video purposes I'm just gonna do 720 now what's happening now is that it's processing it's asking all the hundreds or thousands of computers to serve up the different RARs uh, part 1 through part 40 or part 1 through part 10 and it's gonna play it in order it's gonna download it in order here goes part one part two part three let's say for instance and now once it gets to a certain point when it goes all the way to the end it's going it's actually downloading it uh, temporarily onto your Apple TV and now it's gonna start playing once it hits uh, it might run through another processing uh, let me show you um, so let's just wait it's putting the movie together now and it's gonna start playing which is sweet uh, you're watching your torrents instead of downloading and unroaring them you're actually watching them in real time just like popcorn on a computer a mac or whatever it may be now as far as fast forwarding goes uh we can well first of all we can swipe from the top and you could see your little synopsis there you can change your uh audio if you like uh there's not much choices here not a lot of support for most so uh with the new apple tv firmware you have to actually click when you're watching a movie uh, so we're hitting play here and we're gonna watch a movie and if you want it to fast forward it's kinda hard to do that you can fast forward but I would suggest small increments I wouldn't jump 20 minutes I would jump you know two minutes into it or further in but you get pretty much the idea so I'm going to uh, you know come out of this for copyright reasons uh, but it does play I watched uh, two movies so far uh, so that's pretty cool, and we can uh, have different uh, ty topics up on top, uh, popular, latest, uh, watch list, and then, of course, you can even search. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go into the TV uh, shows, and you have popular. Uh, it's got a bunch of shows here. It's not the, the vast, uh, you know, the most vast catalog you've ever seen. Uh, but up front here they show only a bunch but like say for instance you were looking for something in particular uh, like the new TV show uh, vinyl so we'll go to VI and it wasn't in popular so we're just gonna go to VI N and uh, you see it here vinyl so here we have vinyl and now well, it jumped out so this is not without bugs of course but we'll pop back into it again and we'll go back down to TV shows and of course we're gonna do search now um, you know the these this is version one so it's not something that you're gonna expect to work perfectly uh, it's gonna have its little thing it might even do it again let's see V I N so we're gonna get vinyl right here so we'll go down nice and easy this time so it won't crash on us and it does crash on us so uh, but I'm telling you it works let's go to an, another TV show obviously maybe that one is just not working so if we go to like say Arrow or, or Sherlock we'll go to Sherlock and then you'll see the synopsis again and all that stuff and we'll hit play so they're telling you in this version one that you can't do 720p so we're going to stick to 480p but believe me it doesn't look that bad tell you the truth uh, it's full screen 
Uh, now it's processing all the RARs uh, from all the users of popcorn time. Um, it's taking uh, one part from here, one part from there, and then it's going to compile them and start playing as it downloads in the background the next part. So, uh, but maybe even the Apple TV, it actually downloads the entire thing. I really don't know, but usually that's how popcorn time works. So now we're going to see Arrow play. And this is the episode there. So we're going to fast forward just a little bit. And it does fast forward. It pops forward. Now, this is what happens sometimes. Uh, if it's not quite ready yet, you'll get all this greenness here. So let's not... Let's load it again and let's not uh, try to fast forward. So basically, when it comes to popcorn time, you, you, you have to kind of watch the movie without fast forwarding or even you know pausing that much or, or or doing whatever you have to try to just let it flow because it all depends on your network connection and all that stuff and you don't want to uh you know uh make the software too uh constrained you know too too strain too much strain on the on the on the v on the um popcorn time software and all of the servers trying to feed you uh, these shows so we'll just watch the show without fast forwarding it and we'll see that it works but now I, I'm going to pause this I'm going to come out of it because of copyright uh, but it works really pretty good I mean where else are you going to get free TV shows and movies aside from using software like this uh, popcorn time uh, so the next video we'll be doing uh, the Mamie uh, emulator that's a emulator that emulates uh, like Sega and uh, I don't know Nintendo uh, kind of consoles back in the day uh, I'll show you about those 2000 ROMs that you can put in there but right now uh, it's a good start um, the usual PIA the other software on there you got the full, you know, you got the browser, you got your own screensavers, you got Simpsons, uh, you got the Kodi app, which works when you uh, install individually the sources. You can't use some sort of configurator uh, like uh, TV add-ons and things like that. Livebox doesn't work, uh, but we got Live HD now, and that I works pretty good. Believe, uh... Uh, you can go through all the channels and see. Uh, you get a lot of good local live channels and things like that. Uh, if you're a cable cutter like me and you need to get some, some free options, uh, there you have it. So Providence is also like me um, and you can play video games, retro games. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm babbling on and on and I want you to just get the idea that you can get somebody to sign your apps for you instead of using Xcode and trying to finagle your app that you get from GitHub or wherever to work on your Apple TV. It's easier just to pay the 10 bucks a year and sideload them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.